Welcome to Anchored. Terry and Nat here. Jesus ends his Sermon on the Mount by calling his disciples to real life action in response to the goodness of God and heart change from abiding in him and following his ways and becoming like him. Matthew 7, 7 and 8 says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Many times people think that this passage is a salvation message. Do these things and you will be saved. This passage, however, is after a person is saved and calls us to actively pursue the Lord. What are the action words? Ask, seek, knock, to pursue Him. As we pursue the Lord, the Spirit changes us and aligns us with God's will. I've noticed in my own life that as I allow the Holy Spirit to work through prayer, the asking part, that I've started to change. For example, I've asked more for the salvation of those who are not saved yet, instead of just asking for my needs and wants. I do want to align with God and what He's doing. That doesn't mean it's bad to ask for things that I want, but I do want to increase my outward focus. And that's going to tell you now about a person, a great example of someone who pursued the Lord through difficult circumstances and allowed the Lord to change her life. Yeah, I heard a story about Johnny Erickson Tada. She became a paraplegic from a diving accident when she was 18, which is about 50 years ago. After that, she started speaking at conferences. And at one conference, when she was uh, heading home, she was out in the parking lot in her car, a man came up to her and wanted to pray for her to be healed right there in the parking lot. She caught him off guard by thanking him for wanting to pray for her and said, instead of praying for my body, I really need prayer for anger because I tend to judge others. That is really what I need prayer for. Mm -hmm. This surprised the man and he did not know what to say. Johnny had spent her life pursuing God faithfully and learned to abide in him through difficult circumstances. In Matthew 7, 24, Jesus tells us to build our house on the rock by hearing his words, believing them, and living them out. He says, quote, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house, yet it did not fall because it had a foundation on the rock, end quote. To hear and to do what Jesus says creates a life that is stable. The circumstances of life are unpredictable and hard, but following Jesus creates stability to weather life and keep ministering to others. Mm -hmm. This is the idea of others-centered, which is love. Johnny had gone through many tough seasons, including cancer. She did not allow these seasons to turn her against God, but to draw closer to him. There are people who choose the path of anger towards God, thinking evil of God, when in reality God is good, and his action toward us is for our good. Johnny realized this so that when the man came to her in the parking lot to pray for her body healing, she knew there were deeper parts yeah. of her soul that had greater need than her body. She lives for God and has faced many difficult storms of life. She is a good example of someone whose house is on a rock yeah. because she did not succumb to the storms of life. Her life is no accident, but by hearing and doing yeah. the words of Jesus created a stability of life through the many storms she faced. Oh, so good. I remember hearing about her years ago. And actually just recently, I watched a movie of her life. It was hard to watch her struggle, but it was so encouraging to see how she worked through those circumstances and how she Lord, allowed the Lord to change her. And since we know that no one ends up in the kingdom by accident, it is an intentional act of the will to follow Jesus and to see God's goodness in our life, as we hear and do the words of Jesus, we will become more like the wise man. So may we all follow Jesus mm -hmm. in response to his word and the goodness of God in our life. Amen.